What's going on YouTube? It's Got the Knight here coming at you with yet another video. And in today's video, we have some leaks about the RTX 2060. So that's what they're thinking about calling it is the RTX 2060. Uh, it has six gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM. So where does this leak come from? Well, as you see here, Gigabytes Factory overclocked uh, TU60 mainstream graphics card accordingly or allegedly i should say since it's still just a leak we're not 100 percent sure about this um they're saying the rtx 2060 is not going to be a gtx um as often speculated which i don't know i heard both sides that it could still be a gtx because it's not going to have ray tracing but rtx doesn't always mean ray tracing it means some sampling um, i'll have to look up what exactly type of sampling it is but as far as i'm aware of no games actually take advantage of that sampling, so this is just kind of wasted silicon, in my opinion. But let's get into the specs here. So you're going to see here the 2070 and the 26 here is still going to be based off the same TU 106. Uh, the die size is still the 445. And right here, the CUDA cores are cut down from the 2070 from 2300 to 1920. Now, the biggest thing here, though, is if you look at the GTX 970, as the same clock or same CUDA cores, we don't know about the core count on the or the clock speed on the 2060 yet. Um, I haven't found anything about that, and they're wanting to get this out supposedly next month. Um, but again, just a rumor. Nobody knows for sure. But if we look here, there's one big difference. Is yes, this does have eight gigabytes of GDDR5X technically now. The new one that they just relieved is GDDR5X, and that has 8 gigabytes. Now, let's come to here, where this one is going to have 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. Now, only time will tell. I don't know how much that 2 gigabytes of GDDR5X and then is going to uh, give the advantage to the 1070 or is the six gigabytes of GDDR6 memory going to be fast enough where it's on par with the 1070? I can see it at 1080p and possibly even 1440p that it's going to uh, give about the same performance, but I'm not sure once you get up to that 4K if it's really gonna have the same performance here. But the biggest thing is you got the RT cores. It does cut it down from 36 on the 2070 to 30 on the 2060. And then you're looking here at the uh, tensor cores 288 to 240 now the biggest thing here is the last generation gtx 1060 launched at an msrp of 250. Um, we still don't have a price for the 2060 they are probably saying around that three to five hundred dollar or four hundred dollar range if it's going to be four hundred dollars it's not worth it especially if all the rumors for navi are correct their amd is just going to kick some ass they, like I said, they do want to get this out before Navi is what they're saying, just to make sure that it's out on the market and to hopefully sell some units because NVIDIA knows that they're in trouble. They did go all in on this RTX, but even, as AMD said, ray tracing is a long ways off, guys. So these early adopter, adopters just aren't getting their money's worth out of these cards in a ray tracing game. In a normal game, yeah, you're getting a pretty good value, but they're still pretty expensive. You're getting really good performance, but who has $1,200 to throw around at a 2080 Ti? I know I don't, but what do you guys think? Is the RTX 2060 going to be just as good as a GTX 20 or 1070? Or is it actually going to be called the GTX 2060? I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Like I said, this is all speculation. We don't know for um, if this is all true or not. It's just a leak supposedly gigabyte leaked it but we'll find out here hopefully at ces and it'll be launching next month at ces as well so make sure you like this video if you liked it dislike it if dislike it subscribe if you're new guys so this is got the night signing out guys